waking up at the beach has to be one of the best things ever. It's just so relaxing. It just looks so nice. You just wake up and you're like in a fantastic mood. It's just it's like you can't really beat waking up at the beach. It's one of the nicest things ever. Um, so right now we're all getting ready. We're gonna have the Donnie's Donuts. There's a little Jeep meet going on at 10 a.m. And of course I'm gonna bring my Jetta there. I'm also taking my sisters to Donnie's Donuts because I posted pictures about it so many times and told them about it and they've never gone so they wanna go. So that's the first thing for today. Good morning, Jeeps. Good morning, Jeeps. Good morning, Jeeps. Good morning. Oh, Miley. Good morning, Miley. In the midst of all the Jeeps. Oh, she sounds good today. Windows down, for sure. The holy grail of donuts. In you go. You've never been. In you go. In you go. Mini donuts. Yes, 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 yes. You guys are about to be amazed. There you go. There's your box of goodness. Go ahead. So today we have Death by Blueberry Strawberry Cheesecake. Is it key lime? Yes. And what's this, Cam? Uh, that's the s'mores. S'mores, key lime, Death by Blueberry, and Strawberry Cheesecake. All looking perfect. Once again, my friends, cheers. We don't have Donnie's Donuts. Sucks to suck. This is so good. All done with the best donuts literally in the world. The Jeep's starting to roll in. I got the only jet here that looks kind of funny. So one of these vehicles doesn't fit, but it's okay. So out here at Don, my buddy Cole. Yeah. Go walk around around his suite. What year is this one? The 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. It's sitting on a set of 37, 13, 50, uh, 18 Toyota Open Countries. It's on a set of two-piece forge, BC forge wheels. Not many people have two-piece wheels or multi-piece wheels on a Jeep. This is probably one of my favorite wheels ever on these things. So the latest and greatest with this build, uh, we did front and rear bumpers, uh, both color matched. The front by VKS. Um, so if you look at it, essentially, it's all cut back, frame rails are cut back, the crash bar is all cut off, super tucked up for off-roading. Um, we got JCR off-road, um, half doors on it. Yeah, the doors are new. These are probably one of my favorite things I've seen right now. Pretty much. So I love the doors. Makes it super sweet and easy for the summer. Um, has availability, get some, some half doors up there. It's all on a one-off in development lift kit by BC Racing actually. They're running a spring and a shock setup. So if you want to take a look at that a little bit. Yeah, I saw it up here. It looks totally different than what I usually see. So definitely something a lot different. So it's gonna be a ride really nice then, because BC makes really good stuff. Correct, yep. So it's all in development. There's two Jeeps out in the whole entire world that have it on. This is the one of them. Pretty much I got prestige, inner fenders. Just a cleanup thing, you know, stainless steel brake lines, just some simple stuff. It's not like a super crazy build. It's kind of going at it one piece by another. You know, from there, it's got infinite off-road lock rock lights. They're eight watt, twelve of them underneath. So at night, super fun to light up, <laughs> light up the road. Blind everybody, basically. Pretty much. Um, and then uh, it's all JL audio within here. Super clean. There's nothing, nothing really. Um, you know, exposed. It's all in factory locations. So this rack right here, didn't you build this rack in the back or what'd you do with this? Pretty much, yeah. So I like it. Just some tubing and um, from back when people knew me from the stance world, uh, I used to have an accord and being into the surf industry, I always had to carry things. Um, so decided instead of selling it, I'll just make it for this. Which is uh, awesome. He took a roof rack off his accord and made it fit in his Jeep. That's how you make it happen. The Honda kids have that intuity. So yeah, I appreciate you uh, running through the Jeep with us. Um, it's a great day out here in Daytona for Jeep Beach. Um, if you like any of the parts on the Jeep, uh, make sure to contact um, me over at uh, Golden Off Road for any of these parts. Yes, yeah, so I'll put all the information below. Uh, Golden Off Road or Cole Young, hit him up if you want anything Jeep like this because he has one of my favorite builds by far. Lots of like prototype parts you can't really get. And he's rocking two-piece wheels. I mean, like you have to trust this man. One of the best you out there. So I missed the best part of this whole thing. It's a stick. Now it's even better.
I severely, severely need a car wash. I'm sorry, Riley. I'm, I'm neglecting you right now. I'm very, very sorry. Got me that prize corner spot, prime parking. So back at the hotel now, as you can see, I think in a little while, I'm probably gonna leave Miley uh, here. And if I go ride with Cole and his Jeep to Jeep Beach, I talked to Tony and Mike last night. As I figured, I can't bring Miley into the Jeep show. Who would have thought, even with my vendor pass, but it's all right. So I think later if I go, I'll ride with Cole up there to Jeep Beach. We'll hang out for a little while, film some stuff. Hopefully I can get in a Jeep and go on the off-road track because it looks absolutely awesome. And then after Jeep Beach, probably head down there for like maybe an hour, hour and a half, head to the actual beach and try to get some photo shoots of my car with some Jeeps. So that is the plan as of right now. It is subject to change, so we'll just see what happens. If you look real close, we can see Miley from here right there. Ooh. Well, the plans have been made. I'm officially taking Miley to the Daytona Speedway where Jeep Beach officially is being held. Um, I don't know quite where I'm gonna park. I don't really wanna park next to too many Jeeps to get like run over. Um, I may park over by like the Cracker Barrel, kind of out of the way, but we'll kind of see how the parking is when I get there. Uh, Cole's already there, me with him. Gotta find Tony and Mike from Jeep Nation. I already have my vendor pass, so I can get right in, which is awesome. If only I could bring my car inside, I wish, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I do wanna try and get in someone's Jeep and go for a ride over all that like rock climbing stuff. That would be absolutely amazing. But let's go see some Jeeps. Hi, beautiful, I missed you. We made it to the Speedway just to figure out where we're gonna park a little mile now where she should be safe. Don't want her getting beat up today. We are in and I am in the heart of so many Jeeps. They're literally everywhere and I'm in this little sparkly Stancy car. There is like thousands of Jeeps. They're just everywhere. I kinda wanna park between two really big lifted ones so I can make that happen. Oh my God, look, there's a bag person here. I'm not alone. I have a friend. I have a friend. Oh, I have a friend. I can't park with him, but I have a friend here. I'm not alone. And there's a Jetta. Yes. Me and one other Jetta are here. Very nice. I just can't get over how many Jeeps there are. There's just literally, there's just so many of them. Oh, there's a super clean NSX, but there's not enough room for me to park next to him. I would park right next to him, but there's not enough room. Dang it. And what's crazy, all these Jeeps out here are just like spectator Jeeps. All the show Jeeps are inside there, but these are just like, there's just thousands of just spectator Jeeps. This is insane. All right, found a spot. I think it's pretty good. I got Jeeps to my left, Jeeps to my right. Behind me, in front of me, I'm literally surrounded. I saw another kid rolling in, in like an E46 M3, and he gave me a thumbs up. Like, the only Euro cars here. It's pretty funny. So, let's go see the show. Should I air up my car fully and just leave it? No, no. <laughs> Gotta air up. I've been parked for probably... 30 seconds and I'm getting the funniest look so far. I've already been asked like four times, how does my car go for bumps? How do I turn? How does it drive? It's gonna be a fun day. Jeep, 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 Jetta, Jeep, Jeep. It's fine, she blends. I, honestly, this car sticks out so, so much here. Oh my God. The looks I'm getting right now are honestly hilarious, but I don't even care. And, and for the heck of it, I'm taking the plate off or I'm just venting on the back. Perfect, even better. Make her stand out even more. And I'm actually parked with some really nice Jeeps. This one's really nice here, the Wrangler JK, all white, and then this blue one here with a nice polished few wheels. Really nice Jeeps. We're out here in Spectator Parker. Can't wait to see what's inside. It's just so funny seeing this, and then seeing this, and that one, and all of these Jeeps, and then this little car. And the funniest thing is when they walk behind it, there's no American plate, they're like, what is going on? All right, my last see in a little while. Stay safe, play nice with all the Jeeps, make some new friends. We'll see you later. Oh my God, it's still, it stands out so much. It's hilarious. Like, it just like sticks out like so hard. Oh my gosh. Excuse me, sir, you got a little something, something kind of there-ish. Yeah, there, yep, it, yeah. So the entrance is right up here. I already have my pass, thankfully. They're taking the tram to the other side of the track because I don't want to walk that far. I'm not doing it today, it's hot. I saw it uh, this week, I was like, oh, I want to kill it. We are officially in a GP 2018. I have never seen in my lifetime so many of one vehicle in one place. There's, I would say, thousands and thousands and thousands of Jeeps. Honestly, it's too much to even see. It's actually crazy. Right now, I'm gonna head over to uh, Jeep Nation, meet it with Tony and Mike. This is actually too much. This is actually too much to even see. I don't even know where to go. I think they're about to run this track. I think this is the, the BF Goodrich little booth here. So I think they're about to run the course. You better go fast. Okay, floor it. Floor it. He's not flooring it. I'm not, that I'm not that excited. Okay, I got bored. I want to see somebody ripping it and like jumping their Jeep. That's what I want to see. 
Yes, yes, yes. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to see. Jeeps on rocks and things. I like this. Let's go. So basically, this is the end of the course here, which is like the hardest portion. And there's an option to go around it. But if you skip it, you get booed by everybody for being a baby. Just for it, you good. Speed and power, speed and power. All right, so after watching that, I realized a few things. One, I need to be on that track with somebody and go over that. And two, I think at our shows, like our Stancy shows, we need to have some sort of like stance car obstacle course. That would be honestly hilarious and amazing to watch. Like imagine like the lowest like static cars, speed bumps, things go around, cones. I think we should do it. I think it'd be a thing. Stance car obstacle course needs to be a thing. Also after watching that, I think I want my own Jeep now. I think I need a Jeep because I want to run stuff over. I like to run stuff over. It looks very, very fun and I think I want to be part of that. And I want a Jeep so I can park like this with my friends. I want to park like this with my friends. What is going on? All right, so I'll buy one of these. Greg, Omar, Danny, we, Mark 3 Squad will be the Jeep Squad. We can park with this. So this is way, way cooler than how we park. Yeah, <laughs> that is wicked cool. This one has a gun. I will take this one right here. This right here might be the favorite so far. I love the tan, the wheels look great. Crazy, crazy suspension. I like the, the open back end right here. Definitely a favorite so far. Could be the best one. Or oh, this one's sick too, I like the truck back end. But I like the color of that one better, but this one, this one's cool too. Man, this is making me want a Jeep. This is making me want a Jeep. But if I'm gonna get a Jeep, I'm gonna need a lot more money because if you think like Volkswagen, like 16 inch wheels and tires are expensive, could you imagine buying like a set of 40s? I'm going to need more money. A lot more money. Yo, they have the Falcon Jeeps painted the same scheme as the drift cars. That is so sick. And it's a truck. That's dope. Good lord, what size are these monsters right here? Where's the size of these things? 47s. Right there. Can you see that? 47s. Oh my god. This is the Jeep I saw on Wednesday. Probably one of my favorites as well. I love the tan camo. Big old. I think these are 47s as well. Cool little jerry can in the window. Seems sweet. Look, again, I'm telling you guys, Mark III Squad, let's get Jeeps and let's park like this because this is the coolest thing ever. Oh, let's take our Jetta to park like this. We, it'll work, right? There it is. There's our 2018 Jeep Wrangler JL. We do a Jeep Nation. Cool little build we did over on their channel. Jeep Nation here and then Tony's Jeep over here. If you guys watched Wednesday's vlog, I drove uh, Tony's Jeep here, his 2018 Jeep Wrangler JL. Uh, Skyjacker 4 inch lift. This thing honestly drives like a Cadillac. It's so smooth. It's honestly crazy. 4 inch lift, 40s. It just drives really, really good. I think I hands down found the biggest Jeep here by far. I wasn't just hanging out with Tony and Mike for a while, but Tony's actually not here and Mike's in a meeting. Uh, he just went in, so we've got an hour or so. So I'm going to walk back towards the front. My goal now is to hopefully find somebody to take me in the Jeep for a ride along across that track. That's all I want to do now. Yo, this is the one from SEMA, the crazy uh, Captain America build with the massive turbo. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at it. Look at it. My whole day's been made. This has been worth it. This right here has been worth the entire day. This thing is absolutely insane. Yup. Yup. I will take this one. I will take this one right here. Good. I will take this one. This thing is so crazy. What a beast. What a beast. Guys, guys, can we please park on this? Please. This jack might be the second coolest thing here. So we got a supercharger and we got six wheels. And it's a truck. Okay. Okay. I don't believe that don't believe this is functional. There's no way it's functional. So this company here does all these engine swaps for your Jeep and also so the supercharger for your V6. And I think every V6 Jeep needs a supercharger because they have no power. This is a must. And it sounds crazy. So on the outside, this is a pretty normal Wrangler, but they look inside and oh, just a LS3. No big deal. I'll take this one please and seven more. Let's look at some tire prices. We got some 35s, 290 each, my friends. I couldn't do it. I can get a full set for 290. This is insane. Oh, we got a special. 37s for 436 each. 436 a piece. I can get two sets for 436. Two full sets of four. That's insane. I've just never been a fan of rattling anything. I just, I just don't like it. I don't know. I just don't like it. All right, next step. How do I get into a Jeep? Just 
Laura, you're fine. We're fine. This thing right here is the Jeep killer. Sound. Right. Let's get the back side. Go ahead. Go ahead, send it. Lower it. Speed and power. You're good. Oh, yeah. Stuck. Stuck. I want you to send them both. You're fine. You got this. Please go for it. Please go for it. This man has control. This man's got it. Oh, well, it was good till that point, but you were, you were pro for a second. Oh my god! Just straight jumped it, no cares, and he's still going. You are the ultimate champ of today. So proud. So proud. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. They told, they told me to film. They told me to film, he's gonna jump it. Is he actually gonna jump it? I'm ready. Is he actually gonna back up for speed? Oh my god, my dude's doing a my dude's doing a run up right now. Oh my god. Please send it. Oh my gosh. What a champ! What a champ! Take notes, everybody. Take notes. You just gotta jump the whole thing. My man is a champ. He's got balls. My man is a champ. That dude said, "I'm gonna back up and jump the whole thing," and he jumped the whole thing. I'm proud. I'm a proud person, and I'm very proud. Jump it! Jump it! Let's go, Flora. Come on. Jeez, that poor girl. Follow that poor girl. She's not having a good time. <laughs> I think the whole Jump it! You see, you just gotta floor it. If you just floor it, you wouldn't have any problems. It's fine. Minor damage, you're good. Keep it going. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Sad. Alright, serious question. You guys let me know. Should we lift the Jetta truck and go off-roading? I think we can do it. Big brush bar for the front, big old tire suspension. This could be the Jetta truck. And with that, we're gonna head out. My first time ever at Jeep Beach. Honestly, this was so much fun. I didn't even have a Jeep, but I had such a great time here. I found a guy who's gonna take me on the track with him, but sadly, it closed at three, so we just sat there and watched the rest of the guys going. But unfortunately, I cannot go. So maybe tomorrow, if I have time, I'll try and come back and go on the track. But this has been awesome, and no one's gonna beat that dude who jumped it. That dude literally backed up, ramped it, and cleared the entire front half, the definition of sending it. My man, I applaud you. Oh, and there's Miley sticking out like a sore thumb. You can't miss her. Oh hi beautiful, I missed you. And look at no one like rode on my car. I don't have any dents or anything new. Look at that, you made some friends, Miley. You made some friends. She's in one piece, I'm excited. To be honest, I was honestly a little worried leaving my car out here because I've seen what happens to some people's cars when they go and crash like other people's car shows. But all the Jeep community has been super awesome and like no one touched Miley. Not that I I wasn't sure if I thought I was gonna touch her or not. Maybe like some right on the window, like go home, books, something like that. But she's in one piece. Right up. And we can't forget the plate. I can't imagine Daytona police would appreciate me with having no plate. Look, 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 look. This man's out here stealing specs. Out here stealing wheel specs. Look at you. Caught you. Caught you. Okay, I'm hot. I'm tired. I'm a little toasty. I'm very thirsty. But my AC is blowing freezing cold. So I can't complain. The hotel is popping butts. Got my quarter spot, so I'm good. 
I was thinking about going to shoot my car on the beach later, but uh, yeah, the beach is completely like packed with nothing but like hundreds of Jeeps. So I may go to the beach later on today after it clears out a little bit, because right now it's way too packed, or I might have saved for tomorrow morning. Um, either way, I'm gonna end the video here. Jeep Beach was a lot of fun. I'm burnt, I'm very, very hot, I'm thirsty, I'm extremely tired, but it was such a fun day. All the Jeep guys and girls are so, so nice. I didn't meet one rude person today. Everyone was very, very cool. The one guy even offered me to take me, take me in his Jeep, but we ran out of time. Um, shout out to the dude who jumped his Jeep. If it, Hit the thumbs up right now. Hit the thumbs up right now for the dude who literally launched his Jeep with his kid in the car. Oh my God, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like, oh, do you, if you're, if you're watching the video for some reason, Shout out to you. But that'd be all for today's video. If you're new, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to be there for every single day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, my dudes.